There is something undeniably special about watching a family-owned business get passed down through the generations. CEO and owner of Osted's Golf, Dave Osted, knew that he wanted to take over his father's business at a young age. Loving the game of golf for many reasons and being a part of the company growing up, it was the perfect opportunity for him. We sat down at Wine Time on Main with Dave to learn more about his passions and why he loves to be a part of the Sioux Falls community. Well, hello, Dave. Thank you well, so much. Hello. Thank you, Brittany. Yeah, nice thank to be you here. for joining me. We'll do a little social distancing. Cheers. It's pretty tasty. You know, I like the clink, but the wine is good. I like it. It's like delicious. It. We're both drinking a Pinot today, too. We so. are. Very light, very We're nice. We're liking that way. Yes, we are. Yeah, so, Dave, obviously, we all know you from Osted's Golf. So just take me back to the beginning and how you got involved with this. So it's a weird deal. My father, who was not a golfer, was 43 years old, had been fired from five of his last six jobs, and his brother-in-law started a golf company in Chicago. And as a way to just put money in the mouths, we had five, six, we had six kids. He said, hey, can I start selling some of your stuff on the side? And they said, sure, do whatever you want. So as an a claims adjuster, he'd say, Brittany, um, you got a dent in your bumper, I'll give you a hundred bucks. By the way, do you golf? And if you said yes, he would say, come on over my trunk. I got stuff in my trunk. <laughs> and that's how Austin started back in the early 60s. And he had no intention of making it a lifetime or a career or anything like that. But he said, I got something here. And by the 70s and 80s, we became the largest golf distributor in the United States. We were mailing 28 million catalogs a year. We were mailing all over the, all over the United States, foreign countries. Um, we had catalogs going everywhere. And so I just grew up with it. I mean, I, I lived with my, and I knew this was the only job I ever wanted to do. I've never filled out a resume. I've never had another oh job. My I've been with Austed since, and I knew when I was in, like in grade school, this is what I wanted to do. And so I've been here, I think I just turned 60 two weeks ago, and I believe I had just celebrated my 46th anniversary with Austed. So, well, congratulations. Well, thank you. I didn't even get a watch or anything. I, got, I don't know. What I didn't even get a watch. I got nothing. Not a trophy, not a plaque, nothing. Nothing. nothing well, I but. think we need to get one made for you. Well, I got the nice glass of Pinot here. Yeah. That works. That works. Yeah, and this is pretty good. So. Yeah, this works. So let's talk a little bit because you said that your dad wasn't even into golf. No. But obviously then you being born into this, did you, because I think a lot of us assume you probably are an avid golfer. They do. I am an avid golfer. So the, so the really fun thing is I am a very avid golfer, but I'm terrible. And so I'll get out and I'll play with some people and, and invariably on the first tee, they'll go, Dave, I'm so nervous playing with you because I know you've got <laughs> your own stuff. I know you've got PGA pros working for you and I just want to try to hang up and I'll go, hold that thought, okay? And by the third hole, and I'm, you know, 17 over, and they're like, this is fun, this is really good. And I go, yeah, because you didn't know how bad I was, did you? And they go, well, I kind of figured you would be. But my role is to say, you can get out there, and then people told me, they said, if Dave Osted, who's got 19 sets of clubs, he's got his own pros, and if he plays that bad but still has fun, why am I getting hung up about it? I know it's not going to be my career to be on tour. That's not going to be the case. But I love the game. My son plays. He's a lot better than I am. My grandkids are playing now. It's a wonderful, wonderful sport. And my mantra is get out there and enjoy it. You're outdoors. You're playing out you're with your friends. You're getting fresh air. You can be with your wife, your kids, your grandkids. It's just a great sport. And I'm so fortunate that my dad stumbled into it 50-some years ago so that we could continue to carry on today. It's great. So you mentioned you have a son. I do. Is that the only child you have? I have four kids. Four kids, So okay. my son is now president. I'm CEO. And I have a daughter, Sarah, who's our oldest, and she runs our website. I have another daughter who's a teacher at Roosevelt High School. And then I have another daughter who just graduated, and she's starting to figure out what she's going to do next. So, so four kids. So you have kids. two that are still sticking I with do. Austin. And that's part of, you know, family business is a whole different thing. But we're having a blast. We are having so much fun. Uh, we look, we come every day, and we've got creative ideas. And my kids are very creative. And we say, let's try something. We go, OK. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, well, that didn't work. Let's try something else. So um, we're all having fun. It's a good time. So let's get to know a little bit more about you. Now, are you from Sioux Falls or South Dakota in general? Yeah, Brittany, so here's the deal. I have been through my life. I've had such a blessed, charmed life. I have probably traveled to 50 foreign countries. Wow. I have been to all 50 states. And I have lived in one city, Sioux Falls. And that's even including college. I went to Augustana College. I worked while I was going to Augustana. I've lived in four houses my whole life. So I've traveled all over the world. 
And I have only lived in Sioux Falls, and I don't regret that a bit. I think Sioux Falls is a phenomenal community. It says something because you have been everywhere, but yet you still choose to live here. I do. So I think that really speaks for the community itself. We have stores in, in eight different markets as well. We're in Omaha and Lincoln and Cedar Rapids, Sioux City, St. Cloud, Fargo. Sioux Falls is the best, number one, absolutely. <laughs> so obviously, we talked about how you like to golf, but what are some of your other hobbies? So I love photography. I, I do a lot of landscape stuff. I go to national parks, and I, I've done a number of seminars. We'll go out, and I'll get up at 5 in the morning so the light's hitting it right, and I enjoy that. With seven grandkids, I can always find pictures with, you know, with the kids and doing all that. Love to read. Obviously, love to play golf. I uh, love to walk. My, my wife and I travel a lot, so we go to national parks. We do a lot of hiking. Um, we're really enjoying this time with seven grandkids. Uh, they think I'm cool, number one. They think my jokes are fun, which my kids, you know, they've lost that interest in a long time. And we just have a blast. Number two, um, I can spoil them rotten. Like this morning, I was with my grandson. I got him ice cream at like 10 o'clock. He's filled with chocolate and all that. My daughter-in-law comes back. I just hand him to her. It's done. You're it's like, perfect. It's, it's yours like, now. It's yours. Not my problem. It's great. My grandson <laughs> said, Papa, you're the best. You rock. You are the best. So if you were to write an autobiography, what would you title it? Uh, so here, I'll try, I'll try this one on. You, you want to ghostwrite it for me? You want to do that? That sure. would be awesome. So here, I would say, stay the course. You know, you got the golf theme. Uh, you like that? Yeah, I like and that. And then I would do a byline, and I would say, how to balance faith, family, friends, and career. I have, that's all I've got. I've got nothing else. How, how long did you think about that? I just came to me. It's the Pino. It's the Pino. <laughs> you know what? Wine can make you do it, some pretty incredible some things. Some of my most my best ideas are about half a Pinot in. I right? think really. I get it some really, really gets good that ideas. creativity flowing. So I never get too far away from this. I <laughs> right? really don't. Yeah. Well, on that note, cheers. Cheers to you. I could yes. sit and chat with you all day. You're so I'm fun. available. Let's do it. We're getting another bottle. I see a lot more bottles yeah, over we've, there. We've got we, a lot here, so we could we've, go. Got, we've got time. So thank you so much for joining us here today and sharing a little bit more. It is my about pleasure. Yourself. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Wine Time on Maine is continuing to take steps to protect your health and maintain social distancing. They are now open from 4 p.m. until 9 p.m. Tuesdays through Saturday. You'll find them in downtown Sioux Falls at 330 South Main Avenue in the Washington Square building across the street from the Washington Pavilion. Wine Time on Maine also has a complete list of wines available for off sales. You'll find that on their website at winetimeonmaine.com. Just place your order online and it will be available for curbside pickups.